The second piece I want us to take a look at here in the video is how to go ahead and edit the treads in the event that you have some custom treads as we do in our project as well. I'm going to click on this stair here and we're just going to come up to edit stair. I'm going to select this component and since we began from a component based stair here we still need to come back and convert this to a stair by sketch so we're clicking our convert now it's been converted and we can actually come back and click on it one more time and now our edit sketch appears it's actually quite quite simple once we've converted this stair to what we're accustomed to with our stair by sketch now I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to use my arc tool and I'm going to select down here at the bottom select my endpoint and just kind of drag out I know that we have a custom tread shape to the beginning of our stair here and then I'm going to come up here and use my modify and I'm just going to select my arc and extend that tread out to out to the arc and just trim up the rest of the line work that I need to trim here and actually that is all we need to do here I'm gonna go ahead and click OK this is the only modification I wanted to make on just this side um, and I'll just end that and you'll see that our stringer actually begins to follow the editing of the treads that we've just done so if we take a look back at this in our 3d view once again you will see you'll see that take effect So component-based stairs can be pretty simple to lay out once we understand how to manipulate them and how to convert them back to sketch stairs that allow us to make some of the modifications that we may need to, to make. So I hope this video has been helpful for you.